All right, in the last video, we finished installing WooCommerce. These messages can actually be just X'd out. We'll fix these as we go. Now, this is an important one. Stripe's enabled, but force SSL option is disabled. That is something you want to make sure because your store should be on an SSL certificate. So it's HTTPS, not HTTP. This is mandatory. I can't emphasize this enough. If you're running a site that is not secure, pay the money, get the security certificate. It's really important. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you might want to do the same. And I'm going to force secure checkout. And of course, not force HTTP. I want my entire site to be secure. So I'm going to save those changes. All right. So there is this design your store, but we're going to just X that one out for now as well and go ahead and create our first product. Over here on the left, hover on products and click add new. Now you may have noticed that WooCommerce is kind of crazy about the color purple. So today we're going to create a store called Purpleville. Our first product is going to be a t-shirt. And as we look at the screen here, you actually might notice this pretty much looks like a typical screen for a post. And indeed it is until you get down here and see all of the product data that WooCommerce adds. So let's set up our first product. This is going to be dinosaurs are awesome t-shirt. As soon as I press tab, you'll notice that there is a permalink here, the site slash product slash and the title of my product. Well, if you want to make this a little bit cleaner, you can click edit. Let's get rid of the word R. Dinosaur, awesome, and maybe just say t-shirt. That's up to you, of course. It's whatever you want. All right, let's add some description for the product. All right, so you can add some descriptive text here. You can do whatever you want. If you want to pause the video and type this in exactly as it is on the screen, that's great. If not, just put some kind of descriptive text in there. All right, let's scroll down and under product data, we need to make some choices. We have a bunch of different product types. We'll just choose a simple product at this point with the regular price of 30 and a sale price of 25. On the left hand side, you'll notice that there are a group of tabs, general, inventory, shipping, linked products, attributes, and then an advanced tab. And this is where you'll add in all of your product information that you're trying to track. For instance, under inventory, if you have a SKU, you can put that in here. You can also manage your stock at the product level, put your quantities in here, allow back orders, and sell individually. So this is really helpful to manage your entire inventory right online if you don't already have an inventory management system. On shipping, I just need to put in how much the shipping weighs. Well, this is going to be 25 ounces. And the length is going to be five inches, a width of two inches, and a height of two inches. A t-shirt is a pretty small package to send. And under shipping classes, I haven't actually added any classes yet, so we'll worry about that later. Under linked products, if I have other products or an upsell or a cross sell, I can just click and search for a product here. We'll add those later. Under attributes, I can add some custom attributes. For instance, if the t-shirt comes in different colors, we could use attributes and variations to display that to the user. We'll talk more about that in another video where we talk about attributes and variations. Again, under the advanced tab, we've got some purchase notes and a menu order and the ability to disable reviews. We want to allow reviews for a product. Well, you'll leave that checked, of course. Let's add a product short description, which will appear on our category pages. And again, that can just be the first paragraph from your full description. Over here on the right, then, we have our publication and category and tag settings. We'll publish this immediately once we hit publish. Let's go ahead and add a new category called clothing. We'll make that a master category. And there it is. Let's add a tag. Product tags work exactly the same as any tags in WordPress. So I'm going to tag this with dinosaur. 
Scrolling down, we're able to set product images and have a product gallery. Well, we definitely need an image here. This is the same as our featured image. So we'll grab an image and you can grab that out of the OS training downloads that you would have gotten earlier. And I'm going to choose this dinosaurs are awesome JPEG file. And there it is. Let's change the title to dinosaurs are awesome and add some alt text as well. That's always important. The dinosaurs are awesome t-shirt in the description and we'll set the product image. And there we have our featured image or now our product image nicely placed. I'm going to click publish. Let's go ahead and click on view product and we'll see our product on the front end of our site. And there it is. WooCommerce demos and tips. I'm going to have to change that name into Purpleville. And the important part here is, of course, here is our amazing dinosaur t-shirt. And it already gives us just a number of features that you would expect from a high-end store. The ability to hover and focus, the sale price with the full price crossed out, the ability to add it to the cart straight away, the category and the tag, and here's our description. So with just a little bit of work, wow, we've already got our store up and running. You'll also notice here, I've got cart, checkout, my account, and the shop menu. These have all been added by WooCommerce straight out of the box. I don't have to do anything. So there's our first product in WooCommerce. Let's go ahead and update the name of this just because we said we would to Purpleville. And I'll do that under settings, general, and let's call it Purpleville. A WooCommerce demo site. There we go. And we want to update our URLs so that they always go to the secure site. There are some other things we need to update, but for now, we'll just leave it the way it is. Congratulations. We've set up our first product. And of course, now we can add a whole bunch more. In the next video, we're going to take a look at the checkout process and set up everything we need to do there.